What's good, YouTube? It's Aquarius Leviathan and Prophecy, and I'm back uh, with another freestyle video. Uh, uh, so basically, um, yeah, I'm back with another uh, freestyle video. Uh, without further ado, That's rock. This is kind of be. This is gonna be a short freestyle, though. Um, you know, so this is basically off the top of my head. I want to see my son graduate, but it's too late now. He's dead six feet under. He just got killed by. Let me repeat that. I want to see my son graduate, but it's too late now. He's six feet under. He got shot during a drive-by. I didn't have the funds. I didn't have the money. Every day I stumble at work and shit's not even funny. Yeah, the drugs help. The beer help. But I can't really understand why they would shoot him. It should have been me. Bet. I think, I guess things happen for a reason. It wasn't meant to be. Should have taken my life and let him leave so he can have kids of his own, so he can say how good of a man I was. But I guess people want to take people's lives away. They don't even know who they take, but they just know a bullet has no name. I'm weak every time. I can't even eat. I'm stumbling at work. Almost lost my job. Falling behind the wheel. It's a struggle, man. So I say kiss your kids goodnight every chance you get. Because you never know when this riot shit blows up. Kids might be next. You might be playing outside washing your car. Next thing you know, you're gunshots. Pop, pop, pop. You tell everybody to duck. But not one everybody, not everybody is fortunate. Your brother got shot in the arm and your brother got shot in the torso. He's on the floor bleeding. You try to resuscitate you try to resuscitate him, but there's no meaning. He's losing a lot of blood, he's fading. You call ambulance, the ambulance taking a sweet time to get here. And when you when they hop their ass on that motherfucking, when they hop they off, when they hop, yeah, when they hop, when they hop their ass off of that ambulance, they come and rescue them. It's already too late. Paramedics didn't even do their job like a policeman. He died right on the scene, and now you have the grief. You lost your son. You lost your brother to the streets. That shit is tough, man. It is tough. That's why I don't give a fuck when this black movement shit is a buzz. Because when the cop kills a black man, it was justice. But when a black man kills a black man, it's he snitched so he gets stitches. Right? I don't really care. I don't do business. But it is what it is. Y'all gonna continue this bullshit. But instead of adults, it's gonna be kids next. No bullshit. I'm trying to do my part. I'm trying to do my part. To make the world a better place. But I'm just one person. That's like voting for a president. I only get one vote. So how the fuck that shit is going to change? That's why I don't believe in voting. Because my vote doesn't count. If my vote counted, I should have been the only one that voted. No mouse. But I guess everybody has to vote. Every state, every country has to vote. And that's going to determine a new president. Because come November, that shit is going to go worldwide. Will Trump remain as president? Or will we see a new leaf? Will we finally get this racist motherfucker out the chair or will he stand still like a T 
10 men. A president only a president only can run for office again I I think four times or three times at Bush. That motherfucker repeated like the motherfucking Patriots. And now it's even off the top of my head. Cause the Patriots three repeated, Lakers three repeated, but we only talk about sports, not even politics. That's why you can't even mix those two together. Cause it's embarrassment. But I guess it is what it is. No president will come here and act like they're trying to fix it. The system is already broken. That's why we all shackled down in these projects and these hoods and these ghettos because we can't even feed our family. Working from job to job, we can't even support our family. Got car notes we can't even pay, so they have to tow it back to the station. And now we have to pay millions of dollars just to get it out, get a new tag, get a new everything. So I respect the people who don't drive, but then again, how you gonna get from one place to another? Pike, you gotta drive. You gotta put that fear behind you. I was that person. I was scared to drive, but all I know is. If I got to go, my time will come. But until then, I can't let fear dictate my life. Because if you do that, you're going to be scared of everything. Pussy, drugs, weed, money. You're scared of, you're scared of, you're scared of gamble, but you want to win. You want to have sex, but you don't want to have no children. You want to smoke, but you don't want to get high. And you want to fight, but you want no bruise in your eyes. That's a whole different genre right there. You're talking about people that's scared to do stuff. People that want to do stuff, but scared to do it. How the hell do you want to jump out of an airplane, but you're scared of heights? Stupid. I never did that before, because I know that's crazy shit. I've seen a lot of people parachute dysfunction and they go drop down to their death. No kid. We all got something to do. We all got something to live for. While we doing these videos and we uploading videos and all these YouTubers are trying to get rich or don't know necessarily how to maneuver, they asking for questions and oh how I get my channel bigger. I did it my way, just like Allen Iverson did. Allen Iverson didn't go out without a championship. He went out as a Hall of Famer. And that's what you should do. Any little YouTuber, any YouTuber that's trying to make it, don't quit. Because I was in that position myself, and I said, man, I only got four subscribers, man. I can't even do this shit. But I didn't quit. I upload and I upload and I upload and now look at me I got 41 subscribers and now I'm not even counting the ones that's already following me you gotta put life aside and focus on you cause you only got one life a cat got nine you can't State the facts that you want to be rich, but you want to do things the low way or the short way and expect results. That's not going to fly and that's not going to measure up to your standards. You want to dance, dance with the devil. Nobody can ever say they know what death feels like. Because you have to be dead to be dead to understand what it feels like. You can say, oh, I had a near-death experience. It was just cold. My eyes was closed. I couldn't even talk. I couldn't even move my body. It felt like thousands of thousands of boats was just shocking me. We all know, don't, we all know, we all don't know what death feels like. We all know what death looks like. We know what death looks like, but we don't know what death feels like. We in that casket six feet deep or ten feet deep for eternity never never to be seen never to be heard never be talked to 
can't even call nobody. You can't even call that person and tell them everything is going to be okay. All we could do is just send flowers, go to the grave, and just close our eyes and just pray. Because there is no time machine. We can't go back in time and we did everything. Because if that was the case, history would have been fucked up. You know how the saying goes, history will repeat itself. You can't fuck up history. History happens for a reason. That's why we in this predicament that we in right now. Believe it. I want to be rich. But what's the cost? Everybody's handing out their hands like I'm the boss. Like they owe me. I don't owe y'all. If y'all want something, work for it. That's why I did. And look at me now. Yeah, I know YouTubers could get millions and millions of dollars by doing these little check boxes that the YouTube have to enforce on ya. You have to get one million views. You have to get one million subscribers. You have to do this. You have to do that. And if you be accepted, then hey, you one step closer to being that rich ass bastard. Look at all these YouTubers living in mansions. Big houses. They don't flex because they know how to move. They know how to maneuver. But we got some that's trying to still figure out how to do this shit. Like me, I don't really care. I don't see this as a, uh, I don't see this as a, I don't see this as an escape goat. I don't see this a way to get money. I do this because I enjoy it. I do it because it makes me feel happy. It makes me feel like another person is watching my videos, whether they like it or they comment it or they subscribe it. It doesn't really matter because I'm doing this out of the kindness of my heart. Y'all just want to do it the quick way so y'all can get money. So I don't really care. I can post three videos and get a million views off of them bitches. But you lack to pay attention. It's not the views that draws the audience. It's your passion and your dedication that does. So next time you post a video, don't even think about the views. Just think about how many people you can touch by just doing that one video and that can affect the whole world through and through. I can count may I can count thousands of YouTubers that got rich that's on TV. But it's not gonna wake me up and say, Jesus, maybe I should do something so my channel can be bigger as them. Nah. They were in the same position I was. The only thing is they had a platform to do it on. I did it. I just did it by myself. That's like being an independent rapper, independent artist. You're not even behind no label. You're just uploading videos every single day to get paid. That's genius. But not every YouTuber is popular. It's hard to be, it's hard to get minority. You got thousands and millions of subscribers. You got thousands and millions of YouTubers every single day trying to make it. I got friends on Facebook that's trying to make it. They only got 13 to 12 YouTubers, subscribers. Me, they asking me like, damn, how do you get 41 subscribers? I said, man, I didn't even want to. Because I know what it comes with. See, when you sign your name on that dotted line, when, he sign, when these rappers sign these, when these rappers sign their names on these dotted lines, they sell in their soul. Kind of like how y'all just did it on Facebook. So the difference is y'all just uploading videos, posting them up, getting views, and getting your money up. That's basically it. You can have as many channels as you want. 
Some people do it for the fame. Some people just do it because they love it. I do it because I know it's right. And I want to see my channel grow as well. I don't want to stay at 41 subscribers. If I wasn't a person that was dedicated, I would have shut this shit a long time ago. But hey, I'm still here, right? I'm still uploading, right? It may not be every day, but when I get the chance, I still got to go to work, still got to come home, still got to pick up my son, still got to feed him, still got to do all that. No girlfriend, no side chick, no baby mom. Well, actually, yeah, baby mama, of course, but you know how that goes, man. Child support. <laughs> nah, I'm not on child support. I'm just saying for the ones that are. It's no joke. It's just a wake-up call because you're not even taking care of your son, yo. But I want to further deep down into the reason that I started this YouTube. It's not really even a rap. I'm still, I'm still rapping. I'm still freestyling. It's just off the top of my head. I started this YouTube channel because I wanted to get things off my chest. I felt like I had a purpose in the world to do things. Great things. Like the greatest Aquarius prophecy. That's why I chose those names. It's not because I want to get rich and famous. What's that going to come with? All my family and friends are going to be saying, Oh, you hear the news? Walter's rich on Facebook. Word. Man, I'm going to hit him up, see if he can give me like $600, man, so I can pay this rent. Nah, man. Here's a computer. Here's your microphone. Get to uploading. Because if I give you a cheap way to do it, what the fuck am I doing? See, those are, those are the same people who just skip class and, just, and expect an A. Nah, man, you have to put your nose in that book and study, just like the way I did it. Locate. Yeah, it's going to be hard. It's going to be a grinder. But you know what? When it finally pays off, you're going to be looking at yourself like, wow, I really did it. No cap. Well, that's all I got, man. I hope you understand this message. I'm not trying to be a rapper or a freestyler. Nah, I'm not trying to be a rapper. I just want to touch the people that's already down and dead inside. I hope you understand this message because if I do tell it the right way, Maybe if I wake up tomorrow, I'll probably myself. I'll probably sign my. I'll probably find myself with seventy one subscribers. I'm gonna wait till hundred, like I'll be saying. But if not, it can stay where it is. Ain't no biggie. This is not a promotion where I'm just suggesting that you sub to my channel. Or if not, I'm gonna shut it down forever. Nah, I'm gonna continue to do it as long as I can. If death doesn't stop me, then I did everything that I can. And I use that highly because I was a big fan of Iverson. And when I ever heard that, what he said, man, I just used it to heart. I did everything that I can. You did everything you can. So if you die tomorrow, what's your production is going to stand for? You did everything you can. You can make clothes off of YouTube. You can make cups off of YouTube. You can make shoes off of YouTube. You can make anything you want off of YouTube. But the only thing that can stop you is death. Because once you die, everything you work so hard for is still there. None of your friends know you do YouTube. None of your family knows you do YouTube. So how your channel is going to function without you once you six feet below? So that's why you have to make a voice. Say, yo, I'm starting a new YouTube channel. So if I die, y'all yeah, take it over. No cap. 
But if you bless with good heart, if you bless with a good health, you can still see yourself doing this at 43. You can still see yourself doing that at 33. I'm 28 right now. Five years from now, I don't know if I'm still going to do it. Because I know where I will end up. But I'm trying. Yeah, it's hard. These other YouTubers get it easy. Or it looks easy. I'm just doing what they did when I was... I'm just doing what they did when they was in my position. Everybody started off somewhere. That's the beauty of it. You think Oprah Saad? Yeah, I'm going to name some, some YouTubers. You think Oprah Star started out this way? He probably did, but he didn't put enough effort to it. Now look at him. You think RDC World started off this way? Now nah, they just had a platform to do it on. A okay. You think blasphemous? You think blasphemous HD started off this way? Now nah, he didn't. He had something. To live for. You think some you think some of these new t you think some of these new YouTubers I'm following was in the same position I was? Hell yeah. Don't give up on yourself, man. That's the ultimate failure. Once you give up on yourself, you gave up on everything. I don't live in fear. Cause I know everybody's gonna die one day. This earth will not be here forever. Or it probably may. 20, 10, 15, 70, 80 years from now. We don't know where we'll be. But I hope in the near future, in 2070, if everybody's alive by then, people can look back and say, Hey, yo, look, I found a video. What did it say? I don't know. Let me see it. Oh, it's this guy. His name is... I can't really see their 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 name, but he was just spitting real hard. Oh snap! That's my father. And that's my son. So you get it. Don't quit on yourself. Don't ever quit on yourself, because if you do it, that self doubt, and I don't, and I don't stand against it. So until next time. Take care of yourself and each other. Because if you don't, who will? Ask God that question. Alright, man. Uh, yeah, it took longer than I thought. But, you know, uh, I hope, you know, that freestyle was was touching. Uh, if it was trash, you know, leave a comment. You know, I mean, I'm, uh, I welcome all criticism. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, because it was very hard for me to open up like that. You know, I was saying like I was just gonna re I was I just I was just going to do uh you know a lot of reaction videos and stuff like that. Like I was not gonna freestyle, but you know now that I have a platform, that's what you have a platform for. You know what I'm saying to express yourself. You know what I'm saying so. Um. You know, if anybody is on my, you know, side of the hill, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, you know, scared to, um, that's scared to, um, you know, voice your opinion or if you want to freestyle or if you're good at freestyling and you, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you kind of, you know, scared, you know, not really scared, but you like you kind of shy or scared of of expressing yourself, then don't do it, man. But if you feel like you can, just go for it. You know, like I was in that same position. You know what I'm saying? Like I thought about like, damn, should I rap? Should I not rap? Should I rap? Or should I freestyle? Should I freestyle? Should I not freestyle? You know what I'm saying? But you just gotta go do it. Whether you fuck up or mess up the first time, it doesn't matter. You know. The thing is. The only thing that's stopping you is you. You know, like look like at me, I freestyle every almost every day. 
Do I wow everybody? Occasionally. You know, do I suck? I don't know. It's up to y'all to decide, you know. But I know that I can't give up. I can't quit. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah. Uh, like, comment, like, comment, subscribe, and, you know, tell me if I passed or, or if it was trash. If it was fire or if it was trash. If not, then let it be. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, yeah. Take care of yourself and each other.